Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Link. Link is now in the support zone, deep in the support zone, actually arrived at the ideal target for this fourth wave at $11.53. As you might know, this is the, yeah, we could say ideal target for a fourth wave. Um, it's the 38.2 retracement, in this case, 11.53. Normally, this is where a fourth wave would show a reaction. If not, then there might be one more opportunity for the bulls to find support at $11.23 in a possible um, yeah, in a possible impulse to the upside within wave C of three, which is all part of a larger diagonal pattern. So the third wave circle three should reach the 1.38 extension. So there's one more high needed for, a, yeah, let's say for, for a more um, bullish interpretation here of this chart. and basically to just confirm and validate the wave count further. Um, all it does, it gives us support here. You know, that's that's what the wave count does. Any break below $11.23, to be honest, when the price gets there, it's already a very deep wave four, but any break below it would indicate that something different is likely playing out. We would then need to think about whether maybe um, that there's an alternative wave count that, that could play out, still bullish, but Definitely somehow more questionable. Yeah, I wouldn't it would be a plan B basically that we say, okay, yeah, we have a one-two setup as we talked about before. Okay, this is a one-two, or maybe even this is one-two. And then this here is an A wave up in wave three. We have a B wave pullback, and then a C wave could still happen. But this would make the entire thing morph into a larger diagonal pattern. Again, I would really only want to entertain that idea further when we get a break below 11.23 or it might be too complex. Just be aware that there is still a bullish scenario that could come into play, even if we break below 11.23. In the grand scheme of things, it wouldn't change much. Why would it not change much? Because as I said to you before, we really need those five waves up first anyway, in order to be able to confirm that a larger wave two bottomed on the 5th of August. Until we get these five waves, we're in the process of tracking the structure and whether this is an impulse or a diagonal or a diagonal that actually looks differently in the end, doesn't matter so much in terms of structure because we need those five waves. Until we get the five waves, we should not be surprised if support breaks, okay? I always try to, to make sure everybody understands that because too many people still think these wave counts are predictive. They are on the larger time frames. Elliott Wave definitely, definitely has a predictive element and predictive powers, but not necessarily on a one hour time frame. Yes, to a degree they are there, but again, less so in a diagonal pattern and the entire move up is a diagonal. In this diagonal, we might be in a C wave, which is an impulse, but yeah, you get impulse structures in diagonals, but overall it's a diagonal structure. So it consists of corrective subwaves, ABC structures, and yeah, pay attention to the $11.23 level. Below that level, if we break below it, there is still potential for a bullish structure, but then the invalidation point moves down to the wave too low that is located at $9.30. That's the update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.